Hey there, my name is Karina from A Designer at Home in the Boho Abode, and today I am here to share a DIY tutorial for these adorable indigo mud cloth decorative stockings. So they're made with actual vintage mud cloth, but you could totally pick some up at a fabric store if you'd rather do that. It's got this really cute fringe detail and a little built-in loop. So if you'd like to know how I created these so that you can create some too, please keep watching. I've gone ahead and pre-cut my stocking shapes. I took a stocking I already had on hand and I traced it and then as you can see on the other side of this one, I kind of just played around with the shape until I got one that I liked. Um, going back now, I would recommend using chalk or something to do your tracing with so that you have more versatility with which side of the stocking you're going to use. I'm going to try and wash this ink out, but if I can't because the seams are raw, now I don't want them to completely unravel their shape on me. So I'm going to try and clean, wash that out, but for now I do have these three and it's okay if there's some ink on the edges because the stitching seam will go in about that far and then when it's all turned right side out that's going to be hidden but if you're going to play around with shape and not just strictly trace out a stocking then yeah I would recommend doing chalk or something else that would be easy to brush off and you won't have to deal with that problem. Next I am tracing the stockings over top some old drop cloth that I had dyed and bleached out a design on years ago and I just haven't been using it. It's been in my craft storage for a while so I felt like the weight of this would be good because this is so light it helped give it some shape. So I've traced that out with my marker and I'm going to cut it out now with my scissors. So what I'm doing with my two pieces is lining them up one on top of the other. You can kind of see there's the back piece, there's the front piece and I'm smoothing it out really well so that there's no lumps or bumps. And then because mine are purely decorative, I have run a bead of, well, a line of hot glue along the edge here and pressed them together really well. And then I turn it inside out so I've got this slightly puffed detail look right there where the seam is, and I'm going to fill it up with a little bit of loose polyfill that I have. And I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken a clipboard. You can also get this at the dollar store. Um, and I've lined that up and I've used my fabric cutter here to cut a clean line straight across. And now I'm using dollar store lace. It's like a fabric lace and this trim left over from my uh, mud cloth table runner and the embellishment that I added to my dining room light. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm doing. I've got this trim here and I'm taking this part that doesn't have um, bigger holes and I'm running glue all along the top here and then this part here the big hole and then these little scallops at the top, that's gonna hang above the fabric. And then this part down here is what's gonna get glued down here. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so on the side that's on the toe point, I've left just a little bit that I'm going to glue, I'm gonna press it down into the crease there and then I'm gonna take this excess here and I'm going to see if I can show this. I'm going to fold it in like this to keep it from unraveling. So that's right there in the seam. <laughs> It'll go right there. And then on this other side, I have a longer piece that I'm going to twist this way. And then I'm going to glue this end underneath this seam here. So, ah, this is kind of hard to do one-handed, but right there is where the loop is going to go. 
And now that those ends are down, I'm running glue here underneath the lace. And I do small sections at a time so that I don't have to worry about the glue drying before I have the fibers pressed into it. So there, I'm just running it right below the lace. And I'm going to run all the way across here. Great, and now that I have the ends of that trimmed down, I'm going to stuff it with this uh, loose polyfill that I have on hand. And uh, again, this is totally just for the aesthetic of it. If you are not using them just for decoration and you want to use them for actual stockings to put things in, then you would not do this part. Um, my tips, if you do want to do this for a regular stocking, I would line the mud cloth with a secondary material and use uh, like a, a heat activated adhesive to just like seal them together just to give this fabric more structure. And obviously I would sew the front and back together instead of gluing it because sewing it will hold together so much better, but it's quicker and easier on me because I don't have a sewing machine, don't know how to use one to just glue it on um, because we have other stockings that we use to actually put our stuff in, you know, like my son has a Paw Patrol one and whatnot. And I actually use wreath hangers to hang them on our bedroom doors. So I'll link that blog post down there in the description so you can see that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish stuffing this. All right, you guys, and that's it. They're done. Just a little bit of glue, just a little bit of fabric. You can see they hang perfectly from those little loops we made. And there they are on the stocking hangers. The fringe detail is really pretty. And of course, the polyfill is what's helping them keep their shape since the fabrics are a little light. But, you know, as I said earlier, you could totally make these to be functioning stockings. If you enjoyed, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!